Revelation 193. From the 21st of November 1937. Enemies of the human race. Battle. Victory is yours. Make sacrifices to the Lord and he will reward you a thousandfold. Countless enemies of spiritual teachings hide amongst people. Nothing is sacred to them that is beyond human knowledge and ability, and they would like to destroy people's every striving for spiritual possessions. And wherever possible they teach that all life, all existence will expire with a person's physical death, and thereby they deprive him of all faith. They prevent every spiritual point of view towards a higher being. Destroy faith in an afterlife, in a justification. In fact in everything that is the actual meaning and purpose of the short time during which the human being has the grace to be embodied on earth. But a person with such dismissive attitudes towards all divine things achieves even less than nothing in life. For not only will his lifetime have passed entirely in vain for him, he thereby has also fallen prey to the power of darkness, which will pull him increasingly more into ruin. War has to be declared on these enemies of the human race with firm will and by every means now and at all times. After all, consider how they hold the wheel or woe of the human soul in their hands. Where no own incentive exists to escape this power humanity is in serious trouble. For it will never be able to distinguish between good and bad. It will indiscriminately acknowledge and endorse everything these advocates of the opponent want to make palatable to people with fine words. And all this will result in nothing else in the end but a nation whose people live in error and reject God and his teachings. And this, in turn, will still divide itself in many factions, and there will be a groping and erring in the dark by all sides people try to destroy and describe as untrue and distorted what God has taught and what Christ on earth gave to humanity. But you, his faithful followers, must not let this highest good go astray, you must work together in love and harmony. In order to preserve people's bond with God and through this and prayer also the assurance that the Lord and Saviour will, at the right time, help each individual person who follows him. Many a soul which acknowledges God as its Lord and Creator will stay behind, and your task on earth is to strengthen the faith of these souls and to grant them divine grace. Yet harsh battles will still precede your work, for where the teaching of Christ is treated with hostility measures will also be taken against those who acknowledge this teaching and contend for Jesus Christ. And in order to be equipped for these battles you will still have to appeal for much grace and strength from the Heavenly Father but the Saviour himself will stand by your side and victory is yours. Says the Lord. For he blesses all those who proclaim his word, and leads them to victory. Amen.